Howdy folks, so in this video we're going to be talking about the Gramostola Pulcribes, also known as the Choco Gold Knee or Choco Stripe Knee. This is a New World Tarantula coming from Paraguay, that's a difficult one to say. Their natural sort of temperatures range from about 17 to 24 degrees and about 65% humidity out in the wild. In captivity we tend to keep ours at about 20 to 24 degrees Celsius and about 55 to 65 percent humidity. We basically keep the humidity where it is by just the occasional spray or overfill of the water dish. This is a predominantly terrestrial sort of tarantula so floor space is usually more important than anything else rather than height or verticality. And with it having some tendencies to be a bit of an opportunistic burrower, a good amount of substrate is always good because it does like to make the odd occasional little burrow. We normally just give it a bit of cork bark and it'll usually burrow way under there. For substrate, we tend to use topsoil for this one. We do that with most of our terrestrials and opportunistic burrowers. They seem to prefer that and it seems to be easiest for them to actually make the burrows in rather than cocoa fiber, which tends to kind of get a bit more moldy a bit quicker and hold a bit more humidity. As I always say, all tarantulas need water dishes. Tarantulas always need water dishes. I'll say that a thousand times because I keep seeing it online where people say use a sponge that's damp. Don't do that. Use an actual water dish. Tarantulas need water. This species is actually a really good eater. It rarely ever turns down food. As you can see, ours is getting ready to molt. Uh, so it's quite large at the moment. I believe this one might be a female as well and it's, it's getting quite big quite quick. Its growth rate is really good. It's not crazy fast, but it is quite quick. Every time it molts, it seems to almost double in size. As a fully grown adult, these tarantulas actually tend to get between seven and eight inches. We've noticed that ours currently is about four and a half, five inches, and it's still in the more or less juvie stage, really. As for temperament, this one's really docile, it always wants to come out, it always wants to be inquisitive. So whenever we're changing water dishes or we're getting ready to feed it or changing things around in its enclosure, it will actually start to climb the sides and just come out for a little wander, a little sit on the hand. And it's one of those ones which I'd say, if you're new to tarantulas, it's probably going to be one of your best bets. It's never thrown up a threat pose, it's never gone for an attack or anything like that. It is really, really calm, no kicks of hairs, just always good. Obviously with this being quite a large tarantula, one thing I will always say is be careful in case it does bite because mechanical damage is a thing that could happen and with fangs the size of this one it could actually cause quite a lot of damage if it was to bite you. But like I say, we've never seen any form of aggression from this tarantula at all. It's always been lovely to us. So yeah, this is definitely one I'd recommend for people who are just getting into the hobby and they want a tarantula that's beautiful because as you can see, it's quite dark in colour and then it's got those lovely gold chevrons, the gold markings, the gold rims around its joints and things like that. And even where it's going bold because it's getting ready to molt, it's started to go gold there as well, which looks absolutely stunning. There really isn't enough good things I can say about this tarantula. It's We've got, I think it's four of these now. We've got a couple of slings, we've got a couple of juvies, and we absolutely adore this species. I highly recommend it to anyone. Always go and check out the big, you know, tarantula sort of suppliers like Spider Shop, uh, Spiders EU, So Many Legs, and of course Mark's Tees on Facebook. He's usually got these in as well. In fact, I think this one came from him. And that's all I've got to say for today, so I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget we do have some links in the description to go check out, including our Patreon if you're feeling extra generous. And that's all from us from today. I hope you enjoyed. Bye now.